Hey, yeah, it's me. I'm back. That's right. I'm here. You like it? You don't like it? Oh, I don't know, but whoa. Boo-hoo. That's right. You know what I hate? I'll tell you something I hate. Since everybody's worried, afraid of that word, hate. You know? And that's freaking, I hate statism. And you know what I hate about it? I hate it in freaking progressive cultural means. I hate it when people talk about education. Oh, we gotta have education. We gotta have education. Aren't you educated? No, you're not, are you? Ooh. No. Education should be like a fire. I'm all for science. And I'm all for understanding and knowing. But to each his own. We sit around and the progressives talk about frigging the disparagement of people with lower incomes. And they talk about the sick and the disadvantaged. But yet, if you're not somebody who can retain a mental acuity to have a fine education without subjecting yourselves to the stigmatization of the culture that you live in. What the hell did that even mean? I don't know. I don't have an education. <laughs> no, but I mean, you going through the slings and arrows of higher education and even our regular school systems it's a farce it should not be like that I, so what am I saying well I'm saying that even as a cultural conservative I'm atypical in that I would like more funding for education but I would like it to be less uniform and even though I'm an atheist who does not agree that we need frigging Christian camps, although as a cultural conservative, I'm certainly sympathetic to frigging people who carry frigging our frigging cultural values. That's a little bit of a frigging uh, uh, back and forth on that one right there, to be honest. I think we should have school vouchers and stuff at the risk of that. That's right. That's what I think. And somehow we'd have to balance that out with homeschooling and other things. Because I went through a system being 45 where at the late 80s I was on the end of where the population was in at least my area, not to mention low income areas, where the the school systems were not designed for that population capacity in mind. These were 1950, 1930 buildings that were fine for the lower caseload they had. But as the building ages and more and more renovation is put into it, it becomes a historical iconic landmark kept in part by the values and trust of alumni and yes cultural tradition even though it's progressive because it's partly an ideal of education to have a progressive value system even before the civil rights era is that these these places are becoming money pits but you don't want a bungalow jungle to inspire greater learning. So it's a paradox there too. And I would say that what you need is a more naturalistic system. Something like friggin' Plato sitting around in the stupid robes and friggin' parklands and other places that could serve as temporary theaters and stuff at a greater cost expense. But at a much more viable return on learning. How's that for education for you? Yeah. Thank you. That's all I got to say to you people.